Each dispenser is supplied with adhesive tape and silicone adhesive for mounting to clean dry surfaces. If you choose, your dispenser may also be installed with screws and anchors. You can be completely confident of an installation using both the double face tape and silicone provided. Before you begin, be sure the wall area where you intend to mount the unit is clean and dry. Use rubbing alcohol if necessary to remove soap film and allow the surface to dry before beginning the installation. Where the surface is molded fiberglass, it must be cleaned with nail polish remover without oil to eliminate any wax residue left by the fiberglass molding process. Hold the dispenser in position to ensure it's at the right height and there's enough clearance above the unit to remove the chambers. Next, remove the chambers from the mounting bracket by sliding them up and away from the bracket. Stick double face tape to the non-textured rectangular areas on the back of the mounting bracket. Apply a wavy bead of silicone adhesive down the textured area on the back of the bracket. Be sure to use all of the silicone in the tube. Peel the protective backings on the tape tabs. Press the mounting bracket into position and hold firmly in place for a minute to make sure the tape bonds firmly to the wall. The tape will support the mounting bracket until the silicone is fully cured, which takes 24 hours. Do not fill the containers until the silicone has cured for a full 24 hours, or the unit may dislodge from the surface. The tape will not hold the weight of the fill dispenser. Some installations may require the use of screws and wall plugs instead of tape and silicone. Follow the same positioning instructions. Mark the screw hole positions, drill, and install the anchors. Fasten the unit firmly with the screws and replace the chambers. After the silicone is fully cured or the mounting bracket has been secured with screws, you can fill the chambers with your choice of liquid and prime the pumps. Because your dispenser uses a true pump system, the pumps will need to be primed before the first use and whenever a chamber has been completely emptied. The liquids will not flow until the pump is primed. First, press the button in completely. Now, with the button held in, place your finger over the pump spout to block airflow. And, while keeping your finger tightly covering the spout, release the button. It may take several priming cycles to get a good flow, particularly when the liquid is thick.